Well hello friends, it's Wednesday evening, I'm here with you again, thanks for tuning in and listening. Firstly this evening I just wanted to mention, tomorrow is the final day of January, which means my vegan January attempt is coming to an end, and I've got mixed feelings about it really. Uh, firstly, giving up meat, that's been quite easy really. I've not really been missing meat, to be honest, I've been doing quite well on that front. But a lot of products have cheeses in them and uh, well, lots of products have down as uh, in their ingredients some sort of milk. But all in all, it's been okay I actually, enjoyed it. And it will last probably into the first week of February as well, as I've got a few things left in the freezer. And to be honest, um, a, lot of the, a lot of the things I've been eating will, uh, will continue uh, in my lunchbox at work. The breakfast's a bit better as well. I've been buying other things to have in my uh, muesli, lots of different nuts and raisins and things like that, which I perhaps didn't do so much previously. So that's the first thing I wanted to mention in this video. The other thing I wanted to mention is on Sunday at 11pm, I was able to pre-register for Paris Breast Paris. Now that's not something I've uh, talked about on my channel for a couple of months now. Uh, but what it is, it's a 1200 kilometer bike ride from just outside Paris. It's a route which takes you directly west to a small village on the Atlantic uh, coastline of France um, called Brest. And then basically, once you get there, you turn around, pretty much the same route all the way back to uh, Paris once again. About three and a half days later, tired, bleary eyed, and uh, thankful to have uh, reached the very end. <laughs> so I pre registered, but that doesn't guarantee me a place at Paris Brest Paris just yet. What I've got to do in order to guarantee that spot is between now and I think it's about the second week of June. I've got to uh, cycle a 200 kilometer distance, a 300 kilometer distance, a 400 and also a 600 kilometer distance. Once I've done those distances can I actually register properly and part with a bit more cash. Paris West Paris itself runs from the 18th to the 22nd of August so I've got a good seven months yet to, well less than seven months now, to get a lot of training in. For not only that event, but to all the all the qualifying events as well, because uh, the final two distances are 400 and 600 kilometres are quite tough. I'm going to be in Wales uh, for both of those events, so uh, I've set myself quite a high target to uh, beat this year. Uh, the other thing I'm mentioning while I'm uh, doing this video this Wednesday is is this what is this one playing behind me? This is from. Uh, last year in October I believe it was when I went from North Lincolnshire to Wales one weekend on the Saturday I left really early in the morning and travelled all the way across to Colwyn Bay North Wales stayed over the night uh, had a bit of a lie in on Sunday because I travelled all the way back to North Lincolnshire again uh, covering a distance of 530 kilometres so uh, yeah that was a great weekend if you want to go and watch that one I'll put a link in the description area below this video. I guess I should also mention for the last uh, seven to eight weeks I've joined a gym, uh, mo mostly to boost, boost rather, strength in my upper body because uh, I'm a typical cyclist, I don't have a lot of upper, upper body strength and I want to work on my core as well because as I said earlier my 400 and the 600 kilometre distances I've both got a lot of climbing. Being from Lincolnshire, it's very much flat, and uh, and last year's qualifying rides, the pre-qualifiers, were all pretty much uh, flat rides. So, uh, yes, 2019, lots of climbing. Well, that's just about it for this video. I'm gonna wrap things up. If you uh, want to find out more about this video, here I'm gonna leave you with the time I went down Winners Pass in the Peak District. As always, hope you've enjoyed this video. Look forward to the next one, which may be this weekend. Um, the weather forecast isn't looking fantastic, but hopefully it's cold but dry. Catch you later.